por la vida. <laughs> okay, now that you hate these pimple popping videos, but this is important because this is something that continues to circulate on social media, and this is called the triangle of death. So this is when you get a pimple in this triangle area, and there are rumors on social media that this is something that can actually kill you, especially if you pop them. So we're gonna be testing, or we're gonna be exploring the validity. We're not gonna be testing. We're not gonna be testing anything. We're gonna be exploring the validity of this claim. So let's talk about the triangle of death. Here we go. Here we go. So what essentially is this triangle of death? And if you pop a pimple or get a pimple in this area, are you going to die? So this is a great question because it's not only perpetuated now in social media, it's actually in our medical literature. Like this might actually be the medical term for this area of your face. So there is some truth to this. What happens is you have this series of veins and they actually feed into the cavernous sinus, which is another collection of veins in your brain. And this pimple carries a lot of bacteria, you pop it, it can go into this vascular system and cause a life-threatening infection. So that's legitimate. Yes, that's exactly what it is. When you get an infection in this area, no matter what it is, whether it's a pimple, some type of infection in the nose from pulling hairs inside the nose or plucking nose hairs, whether or not you have a sty uh, in that area that becomes then really infected, if these areas are able to continue to fester become an abscess, they can become incredibly dangerous. Now we used to think that it was because the system was valveless, meaning that the valves didn't exist in the facial veins and therefore it was able to spread unrestricted into the brain. It's actually not true, they do have valves. The issue is that these, these veins are so short and that they're so close in proximity to the brain is the reason why it's able to spread in this area so quickly. And so this area is a danger zone for all types of infections. And so any type of infection in this area, you wanna take seriously. Now, whether or not a pimple is a serious enough infection to cause a problem, I would argue the answer is no. But I do think if you pop a pimple in this area with dirty hands and you spread a deeper infection, then it can become a serious issue and you really wanna be careful. And that goes with having a sty as well. If the sty goes from preceptal to orbital, it can also spread to the cavernous sinus, leading to a clot in the cavernous sinus, leading to blindness, double vision, and even death. Right, and it sounds so dramatic, but it's a theoretical risk. It's a slight risk, but possible. I guess this is one of my problems with these popping videos in general and why I've done so few of them and still, now nah, I do none of them really. It, it turned something into a sport that I felt like shouldn't have been and I'm not coming down on Dr. Shaw here because he also had a scoring system for this, but like, <laughs> but like but I was trying to, add, so I do think the safety of the pops have increased as a result of some of the education occurring on how to properly not cause complications. Though I don't think anyone should be popping because I do think it increases the risk of scarring and you're better off just leaving your pimples alone. Right, and that's my take too. It, 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 whether it's a pimple or a cyst, if you aggressively rupture it, it is going to increase the complications of it uh, tremendously. So that's why I'm not on board with this. Now, I guess we can give you some alternatives. So let's say I've we've argued, don't pop a pimple on your central face. And you're like, well, I have a pimple on my central face. What do I do? Here are some alternatives that are not as perhaps dangerous. I guess one is the simple hydrocolloid patch. We talk about this a lot. It has a functional purpose. It's especially good for those whiteheads that are pretty close to rupturing anyway, but it's gonna help absorb the gunk out. Extremely gentle, extremely safe, and cosmetically, they can actually be pretty subtle if it matches your skin tone. Hydrocolloid patches, I prefer those over the ones that have the little microneedle darts in it, but those may increase the effectiveness of them. I haven't seen that to be true for the pimple patch specifically, but that's an option for sure. Then you have other topical options that are very effective. I always say benzoyl peroxide, incredibly effective for your inflammatory types of acne. 10% benzoyl peroxide. You can also get 10% sulfur or 2% salicylic acid. Or one of our favorite products is the La Roche Posay Afoclar Duo, which has both benzoyl peroxide and lipohydroxy acid in it. So these are the type of products you want to look for to actually spot treat acne. Now, if you have a really bad acne bump on the skin and you need it gone immediately because you're getting married tomorrow, then seeing a dermatologist for an injection of a corticosteroid can be an answer to solve this very quickly for you. Yeah, that's your emergency infrequent rescue treatment. That is pretty effective. So don't pop your pimples in the triangle of death. Though the risk is very low, 
We don't want to see anyone die. We've heard rumors of people actually dying from this. So be very careful in this area, especially in this triangle here. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. And let us know if there's any myths you would like us to debunk. See you next time.